Please join me in praying the glorious mysteries of the rosary. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. For an increase of the virtues of faith, hope, charity, and love, we pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. <clears throat> the first glorious mystery is the resurrection. Then the other disciple, who reached the tomb first, also went in, and he saw and believed, for as yet they did not know the scripture that he must rise from the dead. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, a world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, and save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. The second glorious mystery is the ascension of the Lord. He said to them, It is not for you to know times or seasons which the Father has fixed by his own authority, but you shall receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you. When he had said this, as they were looking on, he was lifted up, and a cloud took him out of their sight. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins and save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. The third glorious mystery is the descent of the Holy Spirit. There appeared to them tongues as a fire, distributed and resting on each one of them, and they were all filled with the Holy Spirit. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. 
Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, a world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, and save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. The fourth glorious mystery is the assumption of our blessed mother. For since we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so, through Jesus, God will bring him those who have fallen asleep. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. 
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins and save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. The fifth glorious mystery is the crowning of Mary as Queen of Heaven. A great portent appeared in heaven, a woman clothed with the sun, with the moon under her feet and on her head a crown of twelve stars. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, a world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, and save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven especially those in most need of thy mercy. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. 
To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, O most gracious Advocate, thine eyes of mercy towards us, and after this our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O God, whose only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life, grant, we beseech thee, that by meditating upon these mysteries of the most holy rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good morning. We warmly welcome all to our historic Cathedral Basilica as we celebrate Mother's Day this weekend. All visitors and newcomers are urged to fill out our special welcome envelope found in your pew and please place that in today's collection basket. God's holy word calls us to more fervently follow Jesus, who is the way, the truth, and the life. Today's second collection is for our Cathedral Basilica School. Please be generous in supporting Catholic education in our parish. As we prepare for today's celebration, I invite you to fully participate in our liturgy by singing from our hymnal. Kindly also introduce yourself to the people seated around you, especially sharing your name with those you've never met. Please stand and join us in singing hymn number 454.
the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Good morning. And happy Mother's Day to all of our mothers as we gather together to thank Almighty God for the gift of life in abundance. And so as we come to this celebration, which continues our Easter season on this Mother's Day, let us ask God's blessing upon this water that will remind us of our new birth in Christ at, at baptism. Kindly extend your hands in blessing. Merciful God, be present to our prayers, for we recall the wonders of our creation and the greater work of our redemption. Graciously bless this water that you have created to make the fields fruitful, to refresh and cleanse our bodies, to free your people from slavery and to quench our thirst in the desert. Through water the prophets proclaimed your new covenant and Christ made water holy in the Jordan to renew our corrupted nature and give us a bath of regeneration. As blood and water flowed from Christ's side on the cross, may this water be for us a memorial of our baptism and grant that we may share the gladness of our sisters and brothers who at Easter received their baptism. And we ask this through Christ our Lord. Almighty God, cleanse us of our sins, and through the celebration of this Eucharist, make us worthy to share at the table of his kingdom. And we ask this through Christ our Lord. 
Let us pray with Easter joy. Almighty ever-living God, constantly accomplish the Easter mystery within us, that those you were pleased to make new in holy baptism may under your protective care bear much fruit and come to the joys of life eternal through our lord jesus christ your son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the holy spirit one god forever and ever I usually invite all the children from pre K to three to come uh, to receive a special blessing. But today, I would like to invite all those who received their first Holy Communion yesterday and are with us uh, this morning to come up so that we can give them a special blessing. All of our beautiful children that received first Holy Communion, come on up. Hmm? So let us turn to our blessing over our children and pray a special blessing over them. Huh? Aren't they beautiful? Yeah. Mm? You know? Mm? Yeah. Uh -huh. And so let us, uh, our prayer is in the back of the maroon worship aid. Lord our God. Look with we pray to open God We ask this So I told them yesterday that I would introduce them all to you, huh? Uh, we actually had 45 receive First Holy Communion, huh? And so we welcome them as they go back to their seats with their parents and families. Huh? Okay. Very good. Very good. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. As the number of disciples continued to grow, the Hellenists complained against the Hebrews because their widows were being neglected in the daily distribution. So the Twelve called together the community of the disciples and said, It is not right for us to neglect the word of God to serve at table. Brothers, select from among you seven reputable men, filled with the Spirit and wisdom, whom we shall appoint to this task, whereas we shall devote ourselves to prayer and to the ministry of the Word. The proposal was acceptable to the whole community, so they chose Stephen, a man filled with faith and the Holy Spirit, also Philip, Procurus, Nicanor, Timon, Parmenas, and Nicholas of Antioch to convert a convert to Judaism. 
They presented these men to the apostles who prayed and laid hands on them. The word of God continued to spread, and the number of the disciples in Jerusalem increased greatly. Even a large group of priests were becoming obedient to the faith. The word of the Lord. A reading from the first letter of St. Peter. Beloved, come to him, a living stone, rejected by human beings, but chosen and precious in the sight of God. And like living stones, let yourselves be built into a spiritual house, to be a holy priesthood, to offer spiritual sacrifices, acceptable to God through Jesus Christ. For it says in scripture, Behold, I am laying a stone in Zion, a cornerstone, chosen and precious, and whoever believes in it shall not be put to shame. Therefore, its value is for you who have faith, but for those without faith, the stone that the builders rejected has become the cornerstone, a stone that will make people stumble and a rock that will make them fall. They stumble by disobeying the word, as is their destiny. You are a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, 
a people of his own, so that you may announce the praises of him who called you out of darkness into his wonderful light. The word of the Lord. The Lord be with you. With your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, do not let your hearts be troubled. Have faith in God and faith in me. In my father's house, there are many dwelling places. If there were not, I would have, told, would I have told you that I am going to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back again and take you to myself so that where I am, you also may be. Where I am going, you know the way. Thomas said to him, Master, we do not know where you are going. How can we know the way? Jesus said to him, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. If you know me, then you will also know my Father. And from now on, you do know him and have seen him. Philip said to him, Master, show us the Father and that will be enough for us. Jesus said to him, I have been with you for so long a time and you still do not know me, Philip? Whoever has seen me has seen the Father. How can you say, show us the Father? Do you not believe that I am in the Father and the Father is in me? The words that I speak to you, I do not speak on my own. The Father who dwells in me is doing his work. Believe me that I am in the Father and the Father is in me, or else believe because of the works themselves. Amen, amen, I say to you. Whoever believes in me will do the works that I do and will do greater ones than these because I am going to the Father. The Gospel of the Lord.
We welcome all to our historic Cathedral Basilica as we come to celebrate Mother's Day and continue our joyful celebration of the Easter season. And in a particular way, we welcome all of our mothers as uh, we already have at the beginning of Mass, and also all of our visitors uh, who are with us from other parishes, other places, other cities, other communities, and even other countries. And uh, so we invite uh, all of our visitors just to stand for a few seconds that we might give you a loving welcome. All of our visitors, it's great to have you here. Wonderful to have you here. At the end of the Mass, we'll have a special blessing for all of our visitors uh, and for all those who will be traveling during the coming uh, week that you might travel in safety. And for our visitors on the outside, we will have a special welcome stand. Then, and there is a special gift for you to bring home to deepen your faith and deepen the faith of those who, uh, who reside with you or uh, come to visit with you. On this uh, Mother's Day, uh, we're reminded that uh, uh, God gives us people in our lives who are the way and the truth and the life. <laughs> and I think that most of us can relate to our mothers when we hear the way, the truth, and the life, because they certainly showed us the way. <laughs> they wanted us always to tell truth. <laughs> uh, and they gave us life. <laughs> our fathers did some. <laughs> our fathers did some, but uh, not for nine months. <laughs> you know and go through labor, which uh, uh, is quite a task, it's quite a task. You know, when I first came to the cathedral, my mother, my mother died, and so I was enveloped uh, with uh, uh, a Holy Mother of the Church. Uh, I came here in August of 86, my mother died in September. Uh, and then I, I said, well, you know, this is Holy Mother of the Church, uh, uh, she'll take care of me. Well, guess what? My sister Barbara stepped in. <laughs> you know, my sister Barbara, she lives in, uh, in uh, Cherry Chase, Washington, D.C. area, you know. So uh, and when my mother passed away, what happened was she said, I am now the matriarch. <laughs> and you are my baby brother. <laughs> she still calls me her baby brother, by the way. Uh, going on 70, I'm still her baby brother. She's 83, so I guess I, she can do that. Mm. Yeah. And uh, she's the great communicator. She's like the mother hen for everyone in the family. Mm. The great communicator. And so, uh, uh, when, when Barbara calls, I want to let you know that Mother is speaking. <laughs> and she is speaking for a long time, a very long time. And she has learned a uh, new uh, methodology because not all the time does her baby brother pick up the phone because uh, I put it on speaker when, uh, when, when we're talking. And I just go, uh-huh, uh-huh. Is that so, Barbara? Uh-huh. Uh, she has found out how to text. So if she can't get you on the phone, her, her children taught her how to uh, text. And, and like a good mother, uh, she is texting now. If she can't talk to you, she'll text you. Uh, and uh, interesting enough that uh, some texts don't come across the right way, you know? So this is a text that I received uh, not very, very long ago when my brother-in-law went into the hospital. 
text. Dan is back in the hospital. Pray for him. L-O-L. I called her at that point and told her that LOL doesn't mean uh, lots of love, it means uh, laugh out loud. I said, you're laughing about your husband going to the hospital again. <laughs> As we listen, <laughs> Barbara's sometimes a doozy. <laughs> Oh, I love a dearly. Uh, as we come to remember our mothers, and, uh, I can't help but think that today's gospel really is right on the mark, at least in my experience, of mothers. Some people might have bad experiences of mothers, but in my experience, that mothers have always wanted to show the way to their children. They have always wanted their children to tell truth. And they've always wanted to give their children the best of life. You know, yesterday, the Holy Father was in Fatima, and he talked about Mary. He talked about Mary uh, Our Lady of Fatima, who came to the three children. It's the hundredth anniversary. The hundredth anniversary of Fatima. I'd like to share with you uh, just a couple of uh, snippets of what he had to say about Mary as the mother of Jesus. Because I believe that you know, when we look at our mothers, we can see the mother of God, Mary. We certainly aren't God. <laughs> but when we see the virtues of, virtues of mothers, the Pope said, there appeared in heaven a woman clothed with the sun. Mm, what a marvelous, marvelous uh, image. So St. John tells us in the book of Revelation, adding that she was about to give birth to a son. Then from the cross, we hear Jesus say to his beloved disciple, here is your mother. Son, here is your mother. Mother, this is your son. You know, we have a mother. The Pope didn't say, you know, that's, <laughs> that was mine. We have a mother so beautiful, a lady. As the seers of Fatima said to one another as they returned home a hundred years ago, we have a mother. We have seen her. That evening, Jacinta could not restrain herself and told the secret to her mother who was overjoyed. Today I saw Our Lady, our mother. They had seen the mother of heaven and earth. Many others sought to share that vision, but they did not see her in the flesh. And like them, we may not have seen the mother, the virgin mother, in the flesh, but she has touched us through our mothers. We will have all eternity to see her when we go to heaven in the flesh. She was assumed body and soul into heaven. Our Lady foretold and warned us about the ways of life that are not good, that are godless, and indeed profane, and ruin God's creation. 
such a life frequently proposed and imposed risks leading to hell. Mary came to remind us that God's light dwells within us, in every one of us, by our birth, and protects us. For as we heard in the gospel reading, I am the way, the truth, and the life. And that's what Mary has shared with us, that Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life if we'd only just follow him. In Lucia's account, the three chosen children found themselves surrounded by God's light as the radiant mother, Our Lady. She enveloped them in a mantle of light that God had given her. And according to belief and the experience of many Catholics, Mary is the model and mantle of light that protects us. We need to take refuge under the protection of the Virgin Mary and to ask her, as the Salve Regina teaches us, to show us Jesus. Jesus, who is the way, the truth, and the life. Powerful words from our Holy Father about Mary, the mother of God, and also about mothers. Last night, unbeknownst to me, that our good deacon gave the homily, uh, I knew that, but I didn't know that he was going to use a poem. And after he used the poem, I said, that's a fantastic, fantastic poem from Mother's Day. So I'd like to conclude with, with how our mother's uh, image for us and are transparent for Jesus, who is the way, the truth, and the life. So I ask you to listen to this poem that some of you may keep in your, uh, keep in your purses or wallets. Mm -hmm. it, uh, it was composed uh, by a man that uh, most of us know, and uh, his name, Jimmy Dean. And I share this with you on Mother's Day. You know, most people look through their wallets or their pocketbooks and way down at the bottom past the credit cards and baby pictures, green stamps. You usually find a little old dog-eared piece of poetry. I was cleaning out my wallet the other day and I ran across a whole bunch of IOUs, some of them 30 years overdue. Funny thing is that all these IOUs are owed to one person. And I kind of feel like right now might be a pretty good time for an accounting. Mom, you listening? Mom, I owe you for so many things. A lot of services, like Night Watchman, for instance. For lying awake nights, listening for coughs, cries, creaking floorboards, and me coming in too late. You had the eye of an eagle, the roar of a lion, but you always had a heart as big as a house. I owe you for services as a short order cook, chef, baker, for making sirloin out of hamburger, turkey out of tuna fish, and two big old strapping boys out of leftovers. I owe you for cleaning services, for the daily scrubbing of face and ears, all work done by hand and for the frequent dusting of a small boy's pants to try to make sure that he led a spotless life. And for washing and ironing no laundry could ever do. And 
for drying the tears of childhood and for ironing out the problems of growing up. I owe you for service as a bodyguard, for protecting me from the terrors of thunderstorms and nightmares and <laughs> too many green apples. And Lord knows I owe you for medical attention, for nursing me through measles, mumps, bruises, bumps, splinters, and spring fever. And let's not forget medical advice either. Oh no, important things like <laughs> don't scratch it or it won't get well. Or if you cross your eyes, they're gonna stick like that. And probably uh, most important of all was be sure you got on clean underwear, boy, in case you're in an accident. And owe oh, you for veterinarian services, for feeding every lost dog that I dragged home at the end of a rope, and for healing the pains of puppy love. And I owe you for entertainment, entertainment that kept the household going during some pretty tough times, for wonderful productions at Christmas, Fourth of July, and birthdays and for making make-believe come true on a very limited budget. I owe you for construction work, for building kites, confidence, hopes and dreams, and somehow you made them all touch the sky. And for cementing a family together so it could stand the worst kinds of shocks and blows and for laying down a good, strong foundation to build a life on. I owe you for carrying charges, for carrying me on your books for the necessities of life that a growing boy's just gotta have. Things like a old pair of high top boots with a little pocket on the side for a jackknife. And one thing, Mom, I will never, ever forget when there were only two pieces of apple pie left and three hungry people. I noticed that you were the one who suddenly decided that you really didn't like apple pie in the first place. These are just a very few of the things for which payment is long overdue. The person I owe them to worked very cheap. She managed by simply doing without a whole lot of things that she needed herself. My IOUs add up to much more than I could ever hope to repay. But you know, the nicest thing about it all is that I know that she'll mark the entire bill paid in full for just one kiss and four little words. Mom, I love you. Happy Mother's Day. Thank you, mothers, for being rays of light to your children and to showing them the way, the truth, and the life. Let us profess our faith.
Let us continue our prayer to the Lord. joy of our church, the newly baptized and newly initiated, for the peace of our world, an end to terrorism and concord in Syria, the Holy Land, and Asia, for the unity of Christians and all God's people, and for a deepening of our faith and commitment to the new evangelization and the Eucharist. Hear us, Savior, hear our prayer. Hear us, Savior, hear our prayer. For inactive Catholics, that they may return to Mass and the sacraments. For the reverence and defense of all human life and religious liberty. For widows, orphans, the elderly, unemployed, immigrants, refugees, our troops, marriages and families who find life burdensome, and for the sick and suffering, the poor and powerless. Hear us, Savior, hear our prayer. Hear us, Savior, hear our prayer. For vocation to the priesthood, permanent diaconate, religious life, and service of our church. For non-Catholics who wish to learn more about our Catholic faith. For the resurrection of our beloved dead and the comfort of all who grieve. For our visitors, travelers, for our living and deceased mothers, and our silent intentions. this of you, Father, 
In the name of the Son of Mary, Jesus, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. We now invite our children to bring their gifts for Jesus and place them in the basket at the foot of the altar.
pray, my sisters and my brothers, that my sacrifice and yours might be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. O oh God, who by the wonderful exchange effected in this sacrifice have made us partakers of the one supreme Godhead, grant, we pray, that as we have come to know your truth, we may make it ours by a worthy way of life through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Let us lift up our hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time, above all, to a Lord, to Lord you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. Through him, the children of light rise to eternal life, and the halls of the heavenly banquet are thrown open to the faithful. For his death is our ransom from death, and in his rising, the life of all has risen. Therefore, overcome with Easter joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic host Sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Blessed be Jesus, whom you sent to be the friend of children and of the poor. He came to show us how we can love you, Father, by loving one another. He came to take away sin, which keeps us from being friends, and hate, which makes us all unhappy. He promised to send us the Holy Spirit to be with us always, so that we can live as your loving children. God, our Father, we now ask you to send your Holy Spirit to change these gifts of bread and wine into the body and blood of Jesus Christ, our Lord. The night before he died, Jesus, your son, showed us how much you love us. When he was at supper with his disciples, he took bread, and said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, Again, he gave you thanks and praise, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. And so, loving Lord, we remember that Jesus died and rose again to save the world. He put himself into our hands to be the sacrifice we offer you. Lord our God, listen to our prayer. Send the Holy Spirit to all of us who share in this meal. May the Spirit bring us closer together in the family of the Church, with Francis our Pope, Curtis our Bishop, all of our mothers, all those born of water in the Spirit at Easter, all of our first communicants and confirmande, and all your people. Remember, Father, our families and our friends and all those we do not love as we should. Remember those who have died, especially our deceased mothers. Bring them home to be with you forever. Gather us all together into your kingdom. There we shall be happy forever with the Virgin Mary, the Mother of God and our Mother, with her all good and holy husband Joseph, the blessed apostles Peter and Paul, the martyrs, Saint Anthony, and all the saints. There all the friends of Jesus the Lord will sing a song of joy. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who we'll live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer this loving peace of our risen Lord to each other.
Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are we who are called to the supper of the Lamb. We believe that the most blessed sacrament of the altar is the true and full presence of Jesus Christ, his body, blood, soul, and divinity. As Catholics who are in a state of grace come to Holy Communion, those of other faiths are also invited to approach the altar with hands over heart and pray with the priest for unity among all God's people. Please join us in singing hymn number 854.
Let us pray. Graciously be present, we pray, O Lord, and lead us, who you have imbued with heavenly mysteries, to pass from former ways to the newness of life, through Christ our Lord. Our important practice for all confirmation students and their parents is this Monday at 6 p.m. Monsignor Catholic Kelly High School, how about Monsignor Kelly Catholic High School, baccalaureate mass will be held this Friday at 7 p.m. here in our Cathedral Basilica. Our eighth grade graduation mass will be on Saturday at 10 a.m. Congratulations to all our graduates. Kindly sign up today at our baptismal font for our 10 a.m. Tuesday morning Quick Journey Through the Bible Adult Study Group beginning May 23rd. You may also sign up for our next Thursday night Summer Scripture Study on the Letter of the Ephesians which will begin on June 15th at 6 p.m. Study guides for either of these Bible classes will cost $20. Please see your bulletin for details. Religious articles are available on our plaza after Mass. Today, during today's hymn of departure, all mothers, grandmothers, great-grandmothers, and mother substitutes are invited to approach our altar to receive a special Mother's Day blessing and gift. Before leaving, kindly tidy up your pew for our next Mass. Thank you. We give our infinite life um, to the Sishla family, or Sishla family, excuse my pronunciation. Are they here? Sue, Forrest? Okay, there you go, one of the boys is here, thank you Joel, okay buddy, and as they pray for, for protection and of all human life and religious liberty in their homes, may we join them also. I invite all those who are visiting with us and all those who will be traveling during the coming week to kindly stand to receive a special blessing. Let's extend our hands in blessing. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May he let his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord look upon you with kindness and grant you safety in your journey. And we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with all of you. And with your spirit. Through the prayers of the Holy Mother of God, together with all the saints, especially our patron, St. Anthony, may the Lord bless us, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in peace, glorifying the Lord by our lives. Be to God. Have a beautiful Mother's Day.